All right, Enrico, let's look at your return here. I'm serving to your forehand. There's your split step, ball crosses the net, then pivot, turn and pivot, take back. See? So, big take back. I mean, it's good turn, good pivot, big take back. The earlier you can do that, the better, ideally, if when the ball crosses the net already. Of course, with fast serving those days, yeah, the earlier your timing, the better, and um, the earlier you see the ball, anticipation, the better. But it looks like a good, good turn, good take back, and you're a little bit behind the baseline. On a slow second serve, you could actually stand inside the baseline and crush the ball on the rise. Or those days, people, um, especially with a big take back on second serve, standing on the back fence. You could stand like 10 feet behind the baseline, like lots of those modern players, and crush the ball. Um, you said you like Djokovic, so he obviously takes the ball pretty early on the baseline a lot of the time. So yeah, you could um, experiment with that, maybe um, have the take back a little more compact if you try to stay a little bit closer in and with the big swing if you want to stand a little bit more back. Here's the pressing off your right leg, transferring weight forward into the ball, extension, see the contact in front of you which is great. Um, arm distance to the body could maybe be a little bit more but looks great and then follow through there you go balanced landing and then you're ready to start the point the um, the height of the take back can vary with the height of the incoming ball so looks like it's right there um, on a high kick serve, of course, it could be a little higher. On a on a slice serve, it could be a little lower, depending on on um, where you're standing. Also, if you stand far back, the ball will drop more. So, this is looks like a take back for that. And yeah, lots of variation depending on the incoming ball. Looks good to me.